when patients present with acute myeloid leukemia, they generally need care very soon after that diagnosis. In the past, we used to treat AML within an hour or two of presentation. Now we have so many new drugs for the treatment of AML that we like to do a very deep profiling of each person's leukemia. And that includes molecular testing. We have molecularly targeted therapies uh, that we uh, sometimes are able to incorporate right off the bat into the treatment of uh, patients with acute myeloid leukemia. So uh, being able to get that information back uh, in real time prior to implementing a treatment plan, uh, we now judge to be key. And so you see now a tailoring of therapy depending on the molecular changes that we see in the leukemias. When we work up a patient with acute myeloid leukemia, the first thing we do is a very deep characterization of that leukemia. And we do very extensive flow cytometry to identify what proteins are expressed on the surface of that leukemia. That defines the leukemia to be myeloid or lymphoid or mixed lineage leukemia. Acute myeloid leukemia is a very heterogeneous disease, both in terms of the molecular and genetic characteristics of the disease, as well as uh, uh, patient or host um, cofactors. So both patient characteristics and uh, the characteristics of the acute myeloid leukemia itself need to be integrated to be able to formulate a treatment plan that's tailored to the patient that's in, in front of us. We do extensive karyotype analysis, analysis of the chromosomes to see if there are any chromosomal changes. Some of those confer a relatively good prognosis and others a relatively aggressive prognosis. And then we do very extensive molecular testing of the leukemias. We have an in-house panel that we use that reads out 150 genes on a clinical basis, and we see if there are mutations in those genes. We try um, to get the results back, um, looking for specific gene mutations, just to try to get a sense of whether there's a targetable um, mutation that will have therapeutic um, importance. So when we get the, all of those results back, um, we then formulate uh, a treatment plan for the patient. Here at University of Chicago, we take a very careful personal and family history from the individual, especially if that individual is in an age where we might use an allogeneic stem cell transplant. And that age is increasing all the time. You know, it does require asking specific questions, like does anyone in your family have leukemia? Does anyone in your family have issues with bleeding? Has anyone in your family had difficulty healing from infections or had numerous infections? Um, so there's a broad range of questions that, um, you know, go beyond the scope of what most uh, providers are asking patients. And the reason we take that very um, careful personal and family history is that if there is a germline or inherited mutation that's driving that disease, we wanna be very thoughtful about the use of related donors at the time of transplant. In the research that is ongoing at the University of Chicago and Dr. Godley's lab, she's really looking at the broader spectrum and phenotype presentation of cancers in families with hematopoietic malignancies. For some of these inherited syndromes, those that involve telomer biology, we need to be very careful about the amount of chemotherapy and radiation that the patient is gonna be exposed to because they're particularly sensitive to chemotherapy and radiation. Many of these syndromes predispose to pathology in other organs. We're moving beyond sort of the classic thinking and expanding that information to include phenotypes 
that have not really previously been written about in journal articles. I think these inherited mutations are quite common and people are seeing these patients all the time. Actually, what we hear from these families very commonly is that they ask the doctors, you know, is my AML related to my aunt's breast cancer? And they're often told, no, leukemia is not inherited. I gave a talk um, a couple years ago, and uh, one of the comments afterwards was from a community doctor, and he said, Dr. Godley, you're really scaring me because I realize I have to think differently about all my patients. And that person really understood what I was saying. And I think it's true that we have to think differently. A lot of clinicians, even myself before working with Lucy, you know, it wasn't, it's not necessarily in your wheelhouse. We need to consider strongly that, you know, these, these types of cancer can be hereditary. Join us for the next episode when University of Chicago oncologists discuss new ways to tailor treatment plans for AML patients.